What's going on everybody? So today's video we're going to be talking about the latest perfumes of the Marley. This is Sedley, but to find out our thoughts, you're going to have to stay tuned and watch. So this is your first time grazing this channel and you like this beautiful bald looking bastard? Something's wrong with you, but I like that about you because you're messed up just like myself. So please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, but this is YouTube and YouTube for some reason just doesn't always send out the notifications even though that they claim to. So also, please slap a like on this video to show YouTube that you actually like this content as it does help out this channel and it would I would also greatly appreciate it. But our thoughts today on the latest Perfumes de Marley, this is Sedley. This is gonna be my first video of this brand and I wanna thank Steven Red Lessons for this decan. I've worn this all week long. So this scent was actually launched in 2019, but I don't think it's just released just yet to the other retails. I think it's only available at the actual boutique. The notes of this fragrance, there's a lot of notes, so bear with me. Bergamot, grapefruit, mandarin, orange, lemon, spearmint, rosemary, geranium, lavender, incense, sandalwood, cashmeran, patchouli, vetiver, and something called Ambrox Super. That is a ton of notes. That's a lot of notes. I know, this kind of reminds me of a Canali fragrance. There's a party going on in there. Uh, tell me about it. What do you get out of this? Now you got it on your hand, I got it on mine, because you said that there's something off-putting. Actually, now that it's been on my skin for a while, I kind of like it. It was the opening that just put me off a little. And that's what, the first couple of wearings for me, it was the exact same thing. It's that spearmint. It's the citruses and the spearmint. They're really nice, but that spearmint can be really in your face a little bit. But this one, is not, I'm not finding it too much in your face. Once it dries down and goes to the heart, the mint actually is, a, is like, a, 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 instead of being a harsh mint, it's a smooth mint. Afterwards, yes, after it starts to dry down, but in that opening, that first like... I think the, the, the Ambroxan in the opening is what, what put me off. Okay, but it's Ambrox Super, so I don't know if that's like a like Ambroxan 2.0. Yeah, it's probably what it is. So, uh, what I get, lots of citrus experiment in the opening, and as I said, it's a little bit heavy at first, and it did turn me off a little bit, but as it started to dry down after like an hour, mm -hmm. I really started to enjoy this one. Uh, the lavender does come into play. This scent is green, it's clean, it's a little herbal, and it's beyond fresh. Yes, herbal, very herbal, very fresh. And the base is just like a woody, earthy base. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so as I said, I'm not very familiar with this brand, mm -hmm. but Carlos said that out of the 27 or 28 fragrances that they have, he said that this is definitely a step different. Yeah, the, I would agree with company. Carlos on that. They're going, out of the ones they do, this one goes in a different direction than do, the others. Do they sell these in Toronto? Yes, they do. What, what? Uh, uh, Nordstrom's has them. Oh, that's okay. Uh, I see. I don't go to Nordstrom's for... I know. I, I, I live in Nordstrom's. I, I prefer whole bread for it. So, uh, occasions, what would you say? I've got casual. It's, to me, it's not. It's not. It's not a. It's not a dressy. No. Uh, fragrance for me, it would be you know casual. Uh, well, Blue jeans, t-shirt. I would say suit. I would say suit and tie if it's the office. So it's got that daytime vibe. I've never worn a suit and tie hat in the office. <laughs> yeah, but, but you haven't really worked in an office to be a fair, okay? <laughs> my office was a little different than everyone else's office. Yeah, including my own. <laughs> I still, I still, for me, this is casual. Okay, no, no worries, man. I find it is casual, but it has a daytime feel that would be great for the office. Definitely in a daytime. Suit and tie. Daytime casual for me. Seasons. I think you get away with with at least three of them. Uh, uh, to me, it's more. It, it leans more towards uh, spring. Yep. Spring and summer for me. Spring, summer, and a bit of fall. I, if you're from like the southern U.S., which you are, yeah, this you can wear this. Oh, late into the year. Yeah, you could wear that all the way uh, into March. Longevity was actually pretty good. I got eight hours and projection was mild to moderate, but in the opening it was... Oh yeah, it was in your face. Oh, it was a slug to my sinuses because of that spearmint. So, it slugs you around a bit. But once the spearmint tones down, it's actually quite ple pleasing and the projection is more on the moderate side. Prices for this one, I'm not exactly sure. But on the official website, there and I did not see it there. Their fragrances range from two seventy five to three fifty. American or Canadian? I have no idea. I'm scared to look. <laughs> but 
How much do the fragrances range at uh, Nordstrom's? Uh, 250 to 300 range. Okay, so it's probably 275 to 350 yeah. Canadian online. Wife thinks it's all right. She says it's clean, fresh, and very minty, but it's not really for her, but she thinks it's an all right scent. And uh, let's just end it off. Your final thoughts on this one? A smooth minty. It's not a, it's not a Wrigley Spearmint gum minty, but it's a nice smooth minty. I, yeah, I would have to agree. Again, in the opening, not for me. No, not that for mint, me either. No way. But once it toned down, that mint and the citrus combination turned into something really enjoyable. And I like mint-based fragrances. So uh, rating out of five? It's a mint julep you can you, you can wear. Um, I would give it a three and a half, four. I would say four out of five for me. So Steven, Mr. Red Lessons, thank you very much for the decant. Steven ended up giving me uh, Calvin Klein Eternity Flame and the new Dolce & Gabbana Sun or something like that. Yeah. So uh, this one here was definitely a surprise. So guys, that is our take of a decant review of Perfumes de Marley, Sedley. So we're just gonna end this video here. We thank you for your time, take care, and we will see you in the next video. Goodbye.